Okay, my shirt says, respect existence or expect resistance. We are ungovernable. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, the reason I wanted to talk to you is Washington State, the county I'm in, has had three wrecks in the past two weeks. Um, now, these trains are supposed to soon be hauling tar sands oil to a port in Grace Harbor County. And all of a sudden, they're just spilling grain everywhere. Nobody wants these to come through here. Nobody likes the tar sands. This is not oil that can be used in your car. This is going to China for petro products, you know, the little plastic shit that breaks. That is exactly what this tar sands oil is. We're strip mining the earth to buy for more junk to be made to sell back to the American peoples. Okay, so uh, we don't want it through here. Not anybody I know wants it through here. It wouldn't create, but having to create jobs coming through here, and I'm sure there's ways we could find other people jobs. Um, also, we have a lot of organic dairy farmers, um, ranchers that do grass-fed beef and organic farms around here. And if that stuff was to spill, the toxins in that oil alone would get into our groundwater, which is excellent groundwater here. Um, besides Fukushima fallout, that's the only thing we have going on here. Um, it would, it would contaminate us. Now, the Fukushima has went everywhere. We know that. Um, there's no nuke plants around me. There's one that looks like a nuke plant. It's called Satsup. But I think they built it for something else. It was supposed to be a nuclear plant, and then they said, whoops, we, we're not going to build it. It's cool to go look at the towers. I will go up there one day and show you this. But it, it is not a live nuke. There's nothing stored there. They actually do. This is what I think it was meant for. They do a lot of training there um, with helicopters, choppers, soldiers, firemen, policemen. So I think it was meant for some high-tech training grounds. Um, all right, so I told you about the three trains. Uh, let me tell you briefly, don't injure your muscles doing your burpees or whatever you're doing. Um, deep tissue massages are not fun if your muscle is messed up. And the only way you can heal that muscle is to keep breaking up scar tissue because it forms scar tissue and it's excruciating. And if you've ever seen that little label down there, it says, how do you hurt? Is it tingling? Is it this? Is it burning? Well, it's a burning, stabbing pain constantly. And also your arm, my arm's weak because it's pressed on all the nerves and muscles in it and it makes the arm really weak. And I also have knots on my neck. I mean, it's like, let's say I have tumors, but that's my muscles. Um, and that's all from an injury in January. We're still looking for a place to live. Uh, nobody will rent to us because everybody goes to the same management company. The one that we know we are never late with rent. It, the problem is, is they were supposed to fix things and they didn't. So, um, they are no longer the management company. The owners took this place back over, but the rent's way too high for a piece of junk like this, but they are fixing things. So anyway, we're still looking for a place to live. Also, um, debris washing up on the shore. I wanted to let you know, I, some people may know a little fishing boat washed up here recently on the shores of Washington State, and it did. And more debris is expected any day now. Also, um, about a year, maybe two years ago, my son, he's a fisherman and the Pacific Ocean, and I don't want to hear it because we've talked about it, but he's over 21. There's nothing I can tell him. Um, he helped clean up the beach one time, and this is what they told him. If you find shoes, don't look in it. There might be a foot. And I had to call the guy, and I said, and this is, you know, my kid was like 19 years old, and I said, you didn't have no suits on these kids, no gloves, no nothing, and they're out there picking up toxic shit. I raised all kind of hell. So... I also want everybody to please check into the CIA. That is the Cowboy Indian Alliance. They're popping up everywhere. Right now, their home, their front is um, in North Dakota, well, in Nebraska and South Dakota, and they are not going to let these tar sands come through. Thank goodness. Um, they're just trying to do eminent domain and take the ranchers' farms away from them, just like they're doing to the indigenous and. Um, a lot of these nations are like super fun way sites. I, I hear people talk about politicians. I'm sorry my nose is itching. I did take a codeine pill. Um, that's what I take for pain. I do. I did smoke some weed, but it's not helping after the torture chamber thing. Okay.
let me get back to this. I don't know if it's South Carolina senator or North Carolina. People were raving about this guy named Trey Gowdy. Well, if you look into him, he wants to put a super fun waste site there, which is a a dumping place for nuclear waste. And you don't that your water's contaminated if they do that. So you you don't want that. And that's what that guy stands for. He's in bed with big corporations. Let's just store the shit in my safe uh, state. I won't go back to it. Think about that. I don't believe in politicians. If you're as crooked, you know that old saying, crooked as a politician? Look, don't trust any politicians. A lot of people do. They're still into that. I, I, no. Okay, so I said the CIA, Cowboy Indian Alliance. I'll try to leave a link for that, a link for the trains. Um, just don't injure your muscles. We have a nice day. It's hot. Um, but we have, you know, stripes and and actually some puffy clouds. The other day we had nothing but blue skies and puffy looking clouds. But as you can see, we have some of those stripety things in our sky. Yeah, it just sucks. I mean, you know, I have never, I, it, people say they don't believe that this is happening. Well, that, it is. We even saw one, one year, if I can leave that link, cause we caught it on film. Over this, over this mountain over there, a plane went over and I guess it was turning and something popped off and you could see the, like one of their things popped off and, and you could see this ring fall. I'll leave that link below too and you guys can see that. My ass, they're not spraying nothing. Um, anyway, I do love you guys. Every one of you. You're all my friends. Um. I wish I'd have gotten to the Rebel Love Contest. I think everyone should go uh, sub Rebel Solutions because he's an awesome person and he puts up some very good information. Uh, and I just wanted to wish everybody a good day and have a very safe weekend and stuff. If you don't see me answering a lot of your emails, it's because my damn arm's hurting. It will get better. It's not something that won't. It's just time consuming. Um, and torture at this point to me <laughs> and I too I um, I love all of you guys I just wanted to give you a heads up I'm out of here have a good one